was a, it was a really a similar format. We went about maybe 55, 60 plays. Um, you know, it was good to see good work again. Uh, we did some two minute today and some, I'll show you some, I say last minute offense, which we put them in a scenario with 40 seconds left. Offense had no timeouts. Uh, they're on a 35 yard line, but they needed a touchdown. Uh, defense held them out of that situation with the touchdown. Um, so I, I think the defense was a little bit better and, you know, ahead on that. But that's for the first time op the offense put in that package. Uh, they did some positive moves in, in terms of positive plays, but they didn't get it in. Um, I really like the work that's going on right now. You know, we got three days left. Um, the other thing, there was no setbacks today for any injury standpoint, which is great. Um, so we're, uh, you know, I would say we're progressing good, getting after, you know, we're finishing the fourth week, going into fifth, fifth week, uh, uh, next week and hopefully have a good little showcase on Friday and, and call it a wrap. But uh, I would say the body of work this, this spring was, was pretty good for our young players to kind of get some, some reps and get caught up with what we're doing offensively and defensively and special teams. So should be in pretty good shape. Dave, you hear me now? Yeah, my computer was locked somehow. You know okay. me and technology, not my forte. Okay. Uh, first question from Brian Howell. Hey, Carl, uh, I know that you guys have a lot of guys out this spring, and so what you have right now is not the team you're going to field in the fall, we hope. <laughs> but uh, I'm just curious how much you're enjoying the teaching aspect of the spring where there's not the pressure of a game week and you can just kind of, um, I wouldn't say relax, but I mean, focus on teaching the game to these guys. You know, it's, it's easier for me to look at. You're right, Brian, because that's kind of my mindset in – this whole spring process is to me, the number one goal is getting our young players reps to get caught up to what we're doing and also watching how, you know, their development goes and, and being able to teach fundamentals and being able to help bring those guys along. You know, if you would ask the offense and defensive coaches, you know, they're all so competitive and they still want to, you know, it's all about doing their jobs effectively and efficiently now. And they get frustrated when it doesn't quite look the way that they coached it. But, as a head coach, I know that that's part of the process is that, that part getting caught up. So I, I, given where we started and where we are now, I think our younger players have a better feel because they're playing faster. For example, like a shot Clayton that they ran, you know, the more reps he gets, he just gets hard, you know, faster and faster and faster. And he's so more confident. You can tell that's just one of the examples of a freshman that, you know, with more reps that he, that he's, than he's ever had, He's, he feels like he has a great feel in our run game. So I would say it's been a number of positions that way. You know, in the secondary, some guys that are really starting to make the plays. You know, Tyron Taylor had his first interceptor in the day in, in seven on seven, for example. He's a good, you know, incoming freshman, just got here. And, and, you know, obviously he's feeling like the benefits of him getting these reps and knowing what he's doing and making a proper read on, on a throw, he, he makes a play. So – those are just a couple of examples of some of these young guys getting more confident, you know, with our system. So uh, we need we've got one more week of that. And the whole goal is to make sure that those young guys feel like they've had a productive spring, they, they've learned a lot, and then they can carry that into the summer. Justin Guerrero. Carl, I'm wondering if Brady Russell was able to partake in the scrimmage today. And just on a secondary note, how is he progressing in terms of just getting back to full 100% health this spring? Brady is is practicing. He did everything but scrimmage today. We didn't want it. We're at the point in the spring. We we know what Brady is, and we want to kind of continue to bring his rehab along by inserting him and, and getting him in some some practice time. So he's been doing all our individual and seven on sevens and, and the and the team periods that are full speed that are thud, I call thud tempo. So he's been able to do all that stuff all week. But for today, he just did the seven on seven that when we scrimmage. We held them out. We just don't want to create a setback for him in case in a scrimmage scenario, which we already know what he can do. So it's just bringing him along in the, in the re rehabilitation process, getting him confident that he's running routes effectively and to getting his timing back, things like that. So that's all he really needs. He knows all the other stuff. But uh, we're being very cautious with guys like him. We don't need him to be exposed too much just because he's he is coming off of the – off of a surgery and an injury. Adam Munster Tiger. Hi, Coach. Uh, you had mentioned Ashad Clayton, Tyron Taylor. Was curious if you might be willing to share some other players that stood out today. Any big plays that happened on either side of the ball? 
there's a number of plays. I, there was probably two or three interceptions today. You know, Robert Barnes had an interception. Um, I would say uh, I forgot what the say which safety it was. It wasn't Mark Perry. It might have been uh, I Lou that had a uh, Isaiah Lewis that had an interception today. Uh, it was really really good to see some of these guys making plays and the things that they've been teaching. You know, um, I would say all of the backs today ran well, ran hard today. Um, I thought there no one really stood out at receiver. Uh, I thought Matt Lynch had a couple nice catches today. Um, you know, we're we've done some. You know, there's a number of guys that are doing some really good things, but um, you know, we're just still you know, just bringing everything along. But I, I, there was there were some definitely some bright moments today. Most of my focus has been on is is what uh, you know Henry was asking about, and you know I I'm really trying to my my focus is on the young players, getting them reps, seeing how they're developing, how how, how fast they're coming along. I know what the older players can do. It's more seeing what those younger players can do that can add to our depth for the fall. So uh, that's why I pointed those two guys out in particular. Neil Welk. Hey, Carl, just wondering how your quarterbacks looked today. Uh, there was, you know, I would say there's mixed results. You know, we, uh, in the two minute, which I said, we just installed that today. And they, you know, so the first time scrimmaging that, that was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, we had some drop passes, you know, in that period. Um, but I thought that they did some positive things throughout the day. There was, there were some interceptions today. Some of them were tipped interceptions from off the receiver's hand, you know, the defense is right there to, you know, to recover. So, but I thought they played, they played okay, but I'm sure what they'll look at, if you, if you, if you ask B. Lou and JT and, and uh, Grant and, and Drew, if you ask them to go together in front of you guys, they'll say that they didn't have a great day because, you know, there was some interceptions today. Some of it wasn't their fault, though. It was just kind of just, you know, off of the hands and things like that. Uh, Neil Wilk. <clears throat> I'm sorry, we did video. Brian Hell. <clears throat> hey, Carl, I wanted to ask you about Makai Blackman because he, he posted a video today of himself getting an injection in his knee. I'm just curious how he's doing. Like, is there any long-term concern with him as far as that going into the season? No, no, he's, he's, he's doing a – we call it more of a, pre a preventive uh, thing when you have tendonitis. So it's, it's to help alleviate that, but there's no structural issues or anything like that. Um, but he's, he's, he's in, he's fine. You know, he's not, he's not practicing right now because he's been, you know, a little sore with that knee. Well, we already know what it is, you know, so we gave him a, an injection to kind of help ease the, you know, the discomfort. And that's all that, what that is. Henry Chisholm. Um, Oh, I wasn't muted this whole time. Uh, I, I saw on Twitter that LaVisca Chenault was uh, uh, at the facility either today or Wednesday. Uh, did you have a chance to talk with him at all? And, and what does he provide to the team when he's out there on the sidelines? Um, no and no, uh, Henry. I actually see him. He's right down here. I'm, I'll get a chance to say hello to him. I, he, he watched us practice today, but I haven't had a chance to to get up to him and, and visit with him and talk to him about how his first season went. But he is here. Um, I'm glad that he's back. I like all of our former players that are in the league coming back so they can share, you know, some of their experiences of what's going on up there and, you know, the challenges they face. So I think there's definitely some educational moments that he can help his team with. But uh, it's just good having him back, you know, him being supportive and, you know, being with his former teammates. I think it's a good thing. And Justin Guerrero. Coach, I know the defensive line in particular is a position group that you guys are trying to craft some depth at. And Naeem Rodman's a guy whose name has been brought up a number of times this spring. I'm wondering just through three spring scrimmages now, if, if, if he's kind of uh, stuck out to you in a way that's, that's shown development and also just uh, what you're kind of seeing from, uh, from him specifically this spring. You know, Naeem has done a really nice job. He's, uh, you know, he's been consistent from the start of spring practice. Um, he's really getting a great feel of what his role is within our defense. I think his technique has gotten a lot better. He's, you see him being more aggressive and getting in the backfield, uh, you know, putting pressure on the quarterback. It's hard to get sacks in the interior when he's a, a nose or a three technique or something like that, but he is doing some, he's doing his job very effectively. He's doing really, really well. You know, I would say Janos Jordan, you know, he's kind of getting in the rhythm. He's getting better too. Uh, he's doing well. Uh, you know, I would even say, uh, you know, Justin Jackson, you know, he's done some positive things to guys that have, haven't had many reps in the fall 
are now kind of getting the bulk of the reps this spring. And you can tell because of that, they've gotten a lot better. So I'm very encouraged with where Naeem is. And I'm I'm sure he feels the same way that he can kind of carry that confidence and that experience from the spring into the summer that he can be one of our, you know, key players for us on the, on the defensive line in the, you know, in the future. All right. Anybody else have anything for Carl? Now, will you guys be out next week? Should be, right? In the press box. Neil Locke okay. wants to sneak one more in on you, Coach. <laughs> okay. Hey, Coach, I was just wondering really quickly what you've seen from Devin Grant this spring. Devin is one of those young players, too. He's, he's done some really good things, and he can tell he's, you know, he's, he's learning and picking up uh, his, his job responsibility, doing really well. Uh, I felt he played. He had a good, strong scrimmage today. He was playing much more assertive and playing fast. So he's, he is definitely one of those guys that's, uh, that for a young player that's really getting better and is taking advantage of his reps right now. So he's, uh, he's, he's on par to really, you know, being a big factor for us in the depth of our, of our outside backer position and, you know, going into summer. 